Former General Electric CEO Jack Welsh once said, there are only two sources of competitive advantage. Number one, the ability to learn more about your customers faster than the competition. And second, the ability to turn that learning into action faster than the competition. In today's hyper-connected world, we have more of that customer learning than ever before. Just consider that every week you contribute an average of 3,254 pieces of personal data into the internet. Everything from Facebook likes to Amazon purchases to Google searches. And we're adding more data all the time. In fact, by 2020, over 50 billion things will get connected to the internet. Soon your car, your kitchen, even your clothes will produce valuable data. And by 2020, all these connections will create over 35 zettabytes of data, nearly 10 times the amount of data that currently exists. Taking Jack's advice, adaptive marketers are embracing that data to gain that critical competitive advantage. Take Netflix, which uses data for product development. It looks at its viewing data to assess what directors, what actors, and what programs its subscribers like. Netflix discovered that its customers love film starring Kevin Spacey and also enjoy movies directed by David Fincher. And what did Netflix do with this data? They commissioned a new program called House of Cards, starring Kevin Spacey and directed by David Fincher, and added millions of new subscribers as a result. But these days, using data to adapt your business may be more than just about greater sales. It may be a matter of survival. The average lifespan of an S&P 500 company has decreased by more than 50 years in the last century, from 67 years in the 1920s to only 15 years today. It's time to adapt or die.